All orchids are, are listed under CITES as being endangered or threatened, and that's mostly because of habitat destruction. Orchids tend to be the, uh, uh, an indicator species to the health of a habitat. As they start disappearing, you know there's something's going wrong. And basically, habitat destruction, over collection, have uh, contributed to reducing the number of species in their native habitat. We work with uh, different areas in terms of uh, conservation, preservation of orchids. Uh, one involves the propagation of orchids. We do in vitro germination of orchids, uh, which in, in that sense, we try to germinate the seeds, increase population numbers, and even try to reintroduce them into their native habitats. The other way is through preservation, or more specifically, cryopreservation. First step is that once you get an orchid seed, you need to uh, first evaluate the viability of that seed. So we do a germination test. So once you know the viability of a certain population of seeds, now we need to prepare those seeds for cryopreservation. What we do is to put them in a solution, which is called a cryoprotectant solution. That is a solution that will prevent that ice crystals will form within the cells and therefore they could be destructive to the seeds. By using that solution, you can protect the seeds under that environment, which is the liquid nitrogen, which is minus 196 degrees. But more recently, we try new compounds like fluoroglucinol, which is a, an antioxidant that actually we realized that that was able to give us a rate of germination after cryopreservation very similar to initial viability. So we thought, wow, we're onto something here. This is a product that can really enhance germination after cryopreservation. So by doing that protection, we now we can uh, put those seeds into liquid nitrogen and they can be preserved indefinitely. We can bring those seeds out of liquid nitrogen put them in a Petri dish and germinate them. And we reevaluate the viability of those seeds. Any successful cryopreservation protocol will be considered successful if you get over 50% of that initial viability. In our studies, we have always obtained much higher levels than that. Uh, sometimes we get levels of uh, germination very close to the initial viability. So that shows that our protocols have been quite successful. The next step is continue exploring uh, those chemicals, those cryoprotectants, and also exploring other species that are considered endangered. And because orchids are spread around the tropical areas, there are many countries around the world that will benefit from using simpler and inexpensive protocols for the conservation of those orchids. But we can expand these protocols to many other uh, plant species and a lot of plant species that could be important like medicinal plants, uh, other flowering plants, rare plants that could be also facing uh, the danger of extinction. And therefore we could use similar protocols for protecting those plants.